Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So as believers, we're going to have weapons formed against us. We're going to go through spiritual warfare. We're going to get attacked by the enemy. We're going to go through trials and tribulations. Not everything is peaches and cream when we come to Christ. No, we're going to go through stuff and we're going to be attacked at certain times in our walk. But if you know your identity in Christ, you know your authority in Christ, those weapons will not prosper. Jesus Christ has given us the authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, to overcome all the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm us in the name of Jesus. Know your identity in Christ when Satan is throwing those fiery darts at you, when demons are using strategies and tactics against you to try and drain you and provoke you. Know your authority. Know that greater is he that is in you than he that is of this world. There's a reason why God allowed Job to be attacked by Satan. There's a reason why he allowed it and there's a reason why he's allowing you to be attacked because it is building up your endurance, it is building up your strength to be a warrior for his kingdom, to be used as a stronger vessel for his kingdom. The book of James says to consider it a pure joy, my brothers and sisters, when you go through trials of many kind, to consider it a pure joy, to rejoice. Praise is the greatest weapon in warfare. Praise is the greatest weapon in warfare. Satan hates when you praise God through the warfare and through the tribulations. So praise God through the warfare. Use that as your greatest weapon against the enemy.